गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज चैप्टर वन ऑफ क्लास फोर द बॉयज एंड द रॉबर्स बाय द हेडिंग ओनली वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड दैट इट्स इट्स अ स्टोरी अबाउट अ बॉय लिटल बॉय एंड द रॉबर्स इन पार्सिया वेन साइरस द ग्रेट वॉज किंग बॉयज वेर टॉच टू टेल द ट्रूथ दिस वॉज वन ऑफ द फर्स्ट लेसन एट होम एंड एट स्कूल दैट मीन्स वेन इट इज अ प्लेस Parsia, where Cyrus at the time, where Cyrus was the great king, at the time all the boys were taught to tell the truth. Uh, truth was the first lesson which has been taught in school as well as as well as at home. None but a coward will tell a falsehood," said his father to the young Artenus. That means here the uh, the little the name of the little boy was Artenus. So his father is saying a coward person will tell the truth, not a brave person. Truth is beautiful. Always love it," said his mother. So what her his mother said? Truth is very beautiful. So always love it. When Artanus was twelve years old, his parents wished to send him to study in a famous school in a distant city. So uh, they are living in a village. They didn't have so much of money also. But uh, because of education, they uh, are trying to send his child to a distant city in a very good school. And as this all happens when Artanus was only twelve years old. It could be a long journey and a dangerous one. Long journey that means because the place is very far and dangerous one because at the while they are traveling it may be some animals may attack them, some robbers may attack them. Okay, so it was arranged that the boy should travel with a company of merchants who were going to the same place. So they have arranged uh, that uh, how his child will go alone. so they have arranged a company of merchant to go with him goodbye artenus be always brave and truthful said his father while he was going his father says goodbye and he give him a uh, knowledge to be always be brave and truthful farewell my child love that which is beautiful despite that which is base said his mother his mother also said that love truth love beautiful Okay, a little company began its journey. That means after saying goodbye to his parents, Artenus and the company begins his journey. Some of the men rode on camels, some on horses. They went, they went, but slowly, for the sun was hot and the way was rough. The way was rough. The sun was hot. Because of that, they are moving very slowly, slowly. Some were riding on camels, some were on horses. Suddenly, towards evening, the whole day they have travelled, and what happened in the evening? A band of robbers sweep down upon him. Sweep down means here they attack him. The per the merchant were not fighting men. They could not give. Uh, they could do nothing but give up all his goods and money. What did the merchant do? They were not fighters, so they did not fight. What they do? They give up. whatever they have goods money jewelries whatever they have they gave up well what have you got then now uh, asks one of the robber now what happened one of the robber came to the boy and he asked that what have you got as he pulled artenus uh, down from his horse artenus was also on a horse so he pulled him down and he asked him that what have you got 40 pieces of gold answered the lad lad means here the boy that means artenus he said i have 40 pieces of gold the robbers laugh he had never heard a boy with so much money as that what happened to the robbers he laughed because he could not believe he says that a boy could not have so much of gold that is a good story he said where do you carry your gold he did not believe and he asked very nice you are making very nice story where is the gold where you have carried okay it's in my head And uh, underneath the lining, answered Artenus. He is saying it's in my hat. Oh well, you can't make me believe that," said the robber, and he hurried away to the rob one of the richest mar- rich merchants. So he did not believe, and he went uh, to rob another merchant. Soon another came up and said, "My boy, do you happen to have any gold about you?" Then another uh, another robber came. He said, "Do you have any gold?" Then he said, "Yes, forty pieces in my hat," said Artenus. You are brave lad to be joking with robbers. Then one that another robbers what he said? He said you are very brave that you are joking with robbers said the man and he also hurried 
on to more promising field that that means he also the second man also he went at length at length the chief of the band called to otanus and said young fellow have you any worth taking at last the chief of the robbers he came and he said young boy do you have any worth means any uh, precious thing otanus answer I have already told two of your men that I have forty pieces of gold in my hat, but they won't believe me. What he said? He said I have already told to two of your men that I have gold, forty pieces of gold in my hat, but they do not believe. Take off your hat," said the chief. What did what now the chief? What did the chief do? He said, "Okay, take off your take out your hat." The boy obeyed. The chief tore out the lining. and found that the gold hidden beneath it then what he did when the boy take out the you can see picture also when the boy take out his hat he tore out the lining of the hat and he found the gold hidden in it why did you tell us where to find it he asked then he was very surprised then he said why did you tell us where to find it no one would have thought that a child like you had a gold about him he said that why did you uh, tell that you have a gold no one will believe that you have gold so much of gold if i had answered your question differently i should have told a lie said otanus and non but coward tells lie what he said if i answer have uh, if i answer your question differently in another way i should have told a lie said otanus but what he said in other words he said a lie a coward says lie he is not coward because his father said him be brave and his mother said him always uh, true is beautiful always love it so because of that the boy tell the truth the robbers chief was struck by his answer now what happened the robbers chief was very shameful you can say he thought of a number of times that he himself has been a coward what happened he himself thought a number of times that he himself been a coward uh, then he said you are a brave boy and you may keep your gold he have give his gold he have uh, give his gold to the boy back here it is a mount your horse and my own men will ride it to you and see that you reach the end of your journey in safely what happened the, boy, the chief was very impressed and he said that uh, he put the boy on on his horse back and he said my men that means the robbers will take him to his destination very safely otanus in time became one of the famous men of his country he was the adviser and a friend of the two of the kings who succeed cyrus at last what happened he became a very famous man and the adviser and the friend of the king uh, two of the king who succeeded cyrus so i have given you all the question answer of this chapter i hope you understand this chapter very well thank you